everybody. As you can see, I'm at the top of a big mountain and uh, just walking up this piece. Well, it's not even a piece really. In fact, it's definitely not a piece. But as you can see, it's uh, about 2,226 meters. Um, and the footholds are like, like this. As you can see, it's just like pretty sketchy. But it's quite thin in the air up here. And hoping Will might be able to make it up. As you can see, I'm at the top of, I um, don't know, <laughs> but I'm at the top of this peak. And you can see up there is where I'm kind of heading towards that pole, uh, which is about 2,226 metres. And you can see where I've come up from that lift there. Actually, that's 2,600, so this is probably close to 3,000 metres. Um, beautiful day. But I'm in just uh, my trekking shoes and my jeans and my shirt and a top. And it feels good actually, it feels okay. But I'm, I must admit, I'm a little bit scared because at some point these footholds are going to run out. And that's when I'm going to stop and turn back around and come back down. But I did meet some uh, pretty cool French skier up here just now. Uh, so he said it was all right. So I'm going to trust his judgment and my own. And uh, I'm out of breath. But it's just so nice. Uh, I'm going to carry on. I'll show you what the footsteps are like. I imagine Will is somewhere down the bottom right now with Chloe, probably going, is that Tom up there? Nah, that's got to be a mountain here. <laughs> but um, I did see someone just ski down that bit there. Not literally over that edge, but... They skied down there somewhere. I stopped for a beer with them. Beautiful. Well, I'm at that pole now, nearly. So now it's sort of decision time. And I think, unless there's some pretty good footsteps, I'm stopping there for some photography and I'm going to come back down. There's some footsteps. I think there's just a little bit of a flat section up there. So another 10 metres, and then I think that's my lot. It's as high as I'm going today. I've just had to dig my feet in, look, into these little crevices just to stay comfortable that I'm not going to fall down because it's a long way down and my mum will kill me if she saw this way above those helicopters down there way above the highest ski lift above the avalanche above the above the glacier, awesome. totally out of breath. And um, I've basically just done all of the photos. I'm hoping that this is in focus still. But it's um, near the edge, just there. And it's not very far away. Um, I did look at it before I came up to make sure there's no meringues or anything. I don't think there's any crevasses or anything like that. But it's just such a buzz being up there. Amazing. Mont Blanc over there. Almost as high as that. I think Mont Blanc's about 4,300 or something. So I reckon this is a good 3,800 if not 4,000. Will's down in that cafe with Chloe. Yep, just show the edge one more time. <laughs> I'm not going over there at all. Anyway, that'll be my last video probably. I'm not gonna risk holding the camera as I walk down this. Yeah, um, just managed to miss the last lift. So I'm like the last person up here now. Uh, I'm gonna have to walk, was it 2,600 meters down? Brilliant. Um, don't suppose there's much more else I could do really apart from walk, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. 
there's a couple of ski patrol out and stuff, so that'd be alright. I've got my radios, I've got 30 battery on my phone, got hats and gloves and stuff, ticking a bit. Yeah, I just got picked up by ski patrol um, for... They were alright about it, they said it's not a problem at all. I was like, I'm so sorry, I should have got that. Uh, they were, I mean, they just put that thing back on again, that cable car back on, so I could in theory just jump on that, but they weren't having it. They said I'd walk down, they said no, it's too long, it's too long. So they're sending a skidoo up to get me, well at least to get a skidoo ride. Hopefully um, record some of that as well. I do like an adventure. Brilliant. <laughs> See you in a bit. I'm not the only one to have done it. There's a snowboarder who's just come off where I was at earlier and the ski patroller ironing him up as well. In fact, there's two. They were fine about it though. I was like so apologetic and they were just absolutely fine. They're just like, no, don't worry. We'll just send a skidoo up for you. I'm like, oh. You're like a right idiot. I'm at least I get a skinny ride though, as I said. I have got a hat and gloves. <coughs> but I do feel a bit of a knob. <laughs> okay. Been here for 10 minutes now. No skidoo. Getting a bit cold. <sighs> put my hat and my gloves on. Put my radio on to scan. Channel 19, just in case. French guys were just like, just stay here, but I suppose I'd better do what they tell me to do. I'm really tempted just to run down, to be honest, but no, nah, I think it's a bad idea. It's so quiet, and I'm the only person here. Literally, there's no one else around, except for probably a couple of guys up there. I don't know whether the ski is coming up. Or coming down. But I reckon I'll hear it before I see it. Probably the guys up there in the lift have just finished their shift and they're going to come down in skiddy. The silence is deafening. <laughs> and that's where I was up there earlier. Came down that. All the way down that, down there, came up there, realised I'd missed the lift, and started walking down. Should have bought the snowboard, really. It'd be cool if they sent a helicopter. Mm. I'm going to save my battery now. Hopefully that is my skiddy right there. I think I'm gonna think I'm a right tourist filming. Yeah, I reckon that's my skiddy.